Morning, Mel. Can, can we just start with the with the cup? Um, obviously, a bit of a day of drama, really. Not knowing whether you were going through or not, you go through, and then you join Chelsea away. What was your sort of reaction to how it all, all unfolded? Yeah, obviously, you know, I was really pleased with the draw. To be fair, uh, I think you know what an opportunity for the for the players to to go and pitch themselves up against some of the best players in the world, and you know, the certainly the best team in team in England. So you know, uh, delighted with the draw and looking forward to the challenge. Obviously, you want to show yourselves in the best light, but it is a little bit of a free hit, isn't it? You know, the way it's kind of transpired, and obviously, you go in there with no expectations. It's just a, a learning opportunity as much as anything, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we we weren't expecting to qualify initially in the Conti Cup. Uh, you, you know, but obviously once the alleged player had had took the field, and we realised it was an opportunity. Then you know, like you say, it's a, it's a free hit, it's a free game, and you know to to go up against some of the the best players. And yeah, you know, I asked, I think I asked the players yesterday who's played against them before. And not many of them have played against Chelsea. A few against Arsenal before, so it's a you know it's a different experience for them, and hopefully something that they can take take away and you know learn from as well. Obviously, the Conti Cup, the scheduling often provides you with quite a few challenges, I think, in terms of managing the squad and, and the workload and what have you. With no game next weekend, are you able to see this game in a, in a little bit of a different light? I think so. Um, I think, obviously, you know, we've got to take the Redden game first and, you know, come through it unscathed, really, to see what type of team we can we can put out against Chelsea. Uh, you know, Redden, for us, is the most important game in that's got our full focus this week and you know once that's kind of gone on Sunday we'll turn our heads to, to Chelsea. Yeah, you mentioned Reading now, was there a conversation about putting the draw to bed pretty quickly for a, for a few days with, with this league game on the horizon? I, th- I think there's not really been much talk about it to be fair, the players have, that were in yesterday there was a little bit of talk but you know they're, they're fully focused on, on the league campaign, uh, you know that's our bread and butter, that's that's got our full focus and you know we're we're hoping to go and travel to London and you know good spirits and, and get some points on the board. You're top of the league now with eight games to play. I know not everyone's played the same amount of games what have you, but there must be a bit of a feeling growing that, that you can do this, your your title your title challenges now. Yeah, I've obviously up there on merit and up there through through good performances. Um uh, you know, I think the game against Blackburn was a really difficult game for us in terms of our preparation. You know, the bus, the bus didn't turn up. We were late, late for kick off, and you know we had forty five minutes to kind of to get ready and, and get out there. And it, it felt a bit rushed in the first half. The first half was very transitional for us, not normal, not the way we'd normally want to play. Uh, but I thought the girls showed true character and professionalism, and in one in a different type of way, which 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 is, again is is invaluable to find different ways to win a game. Uh, so you know, six points out of two league games this season, and you know we go to go to Redden in good spirits. So the, the full focus is, can we do it again on Sunday? We've talked about it a few times this season, but Katie Kitchen, what like what a sign that she's been for the football club in open play and from free kicks. Yeah, she's she's a very good player in a very good group. Um, you know, she's she offers something a little bit different in terms of our the free kicks that she, that she can score for us and you know they're, they're important moments in the game you know the set pieces are crucial whether it's a free kick or a corner that you know there are opportunities to score and when you've got someone who's consistently scoring from free kicks uh, you know it's priceless really because she's been converting converting on a regular basis which is is only a positive for us just lastly for me, Reading obviously I think as a whole club quite a challenging time for them but, but obviously they were a Super League team not so long ago, what, what are you expecting from them this weekend? Yeah, I think they've had a mixed bag of results, uh, you know they find themselves in the, the lower end of the table but you know we certainly won't be taking them lightly, uh, I thought they gave were a very good game it, when we played them at home, although we won the game I, I thought they were probably one of the best teams to visit the Hinton Centre so you know we'll certainly, certainly be wary of, of what they can do to if we don't show up Great. Thanks very much, Mel. Pass it over to Georgia. Thanks, Mel. Um, you know, recent performances must give you some some confidence. How are the how are the team feeling ahead of Reading? Yeah, they're, they're in a good place. Uh, you know, I think w- winning promotes you know a, a healthy environment in a in a in a good environment to be in. Uh, we've certainly got a competitive squad, and everyone's training and training well to to try and get a place in the team. And what are you expecting from Reading? 
it'll be a competitive game. Uh, you know, they're, they're a team that's, you know, that, like I said just before, they're at the wrong end of the table, probably where they would not want to be. Um, I think they've lost lost three, uh, drew three of the last six games, so they'll be wanting to turn that around on Sunday and, you know, we've got to be on our game to make sure that that doesn't happen and we take points out of the game. How different is it for the side preparing for an away match? Uh, it's it's no different really. Uh, you know we do it every other weekend, so it's built into our schedule. We'll we'll prepare correctly. We'll travel, we'll travel the day before. Uh, it gives us a good opportunity to do some team bonding on the way down and and spend a lot of time with each other and make sure everyone's in the right frame of mind for the game. And um, lastly, from me, um, do you think you can get promoted this season? I think we've got a, we've got an opportunity to do. Um, I think you know we've just got to be consistent with our performances, and if we're consistent, you know hopefully we'll be up there come the end of the season challenging.